when we talk about carbon capture and storage right now, we're talking about point sources, right? Going, going to, uh, you know, power plants, going to refineries, um, you know, going to cement factories, going wherever carbon is produced intensively, capturing that carbon and sequestering it. So many of you have seen this slide and know that there are a variety of geologic environments in which sequestration is now being evaluated. Uh, for example, saline aquifers, um, depleted oil and gas reservoirs. So I'm going to focus mostly on, on, on shale gas because it's, it's the new player. In fact, I call 2008 the year of shale, shale madness. Um, there was tremendous uh, acreages uh, tied up by different oil companies. Drilling uh, campaigns were mounted. So this is the direction people are going in because, you know, the, the gas is there, the shale is there, there's no mystery. The only question is getting it out efficiently. Think about carbon sequestration along with the development of these shale gases. If you inject CO2 and then you leave it behind as a sequestered phase. It's promising, but it's, it's, it's not yet proven. Whatever we think about this doesn't really matter. Uh, unconventional gas production is, is going to happen. The resource is too big. It's domestic. It's plugged into the existing pipelines. It's clean as compared to alternatives. But now we're, at, we're sort of at, at the beginning, right, of this, what I think is going to be this big ramp up in unconventional gas production. And so why not um, look at carbon sequestration and uh, enhance recovery simultaneously as a way to try to do it right from the outset.